Hey, what's going on everyone? Christmas has come early. There's another O'Reilly book bundle and there are it's, there's only about 24 hours left to grab this one. I'm sorry I missed this and didn't let you guys know earlier. Uh, I know I've said some mean things about Java, but there are some very good reasons to learn Java. It's pretty straightforward. It is extraordinarily popular and widespread. And now you've got one more reason, because for 15 bucks you can get, um, I mean, these retail for literally hundreds of dollars. I just checked them all on Amazon. Um, so if you're thinking about getting into Java, I would recommend picking this up, because this will give you a Java library that you might expect somebody to have after 5 or 10 years doing Java on your digital bookshelf. So I would appreciate it, as always, if you use the link in the description to, to do that, because that way... I will be the quote-unquote charity that you're supporting. I love having a cookbook type book around, especially when you're learning a language It's really useful. The O'Reilly cookbooks are something you can just open, you can find a task that you're trying to complete, and you can see how it's done in idiomatic, well, in this case, Java. Um, I remember having one of these for Ruby, and, and just like, it helped accelerate my learning of Ruby uh, six years ago quite a bit. I was coming from Python at the time. If you actually want to get into software development, you know, Java is a, a pretty well beaten path to go down. And if you're good and you're smart, um, it has an extremely high probability that you're going to be able to find work, um, especially when you're still more junior. So that's one of the good reasons to start going for Java. And obviously, web development is a huge industry. And picking up a book like this and just working through it uh, will teach you a lot of what you need to know. Again, four stars on Amazon. You know I love practical projects. Uh, Minecraft modding with Forge. So I looked through the reviews and it actually looks like very little to no Java knowledge is required. So this is my favorite kind of practical thing. You actually do something, in this case create a mod for Minecraft, and in order to do that you have to do the thing that you're trying to do, which is learn Java. So the thing you want to do just becomes a side effect of the project you're trying to complete, which is a perfect way of actually staying motivated enough to finish learning Java because you just want to get the damn mod working. So if you're a practical person, I highly recommend starting with something like this and then just, you know, getting an overview of Java from the other books using things like the cookbook to solve early problems that you face uh, and obviously a healthy dose of Googling and Stack Overflow. Back to the uh, kind of web, you know, web programming, web development uh, side of things. If you want to develop REST services, represent representational state transfer, it's one of those butchered IT uh, acronyms. This is probably a pretty good introduction to to how to design REST services. Obviously, you'll want to know what a REST service is if you don't already. Um, assuming this will explain it to you. And judging from very recent, very high reviews, um, this probably would end up being worth the price of the bundle on its own. It's a well-respected author with a long history of writing excellent IT stuff, so uh, check it out. I don't think you need this book, but I think this is worth talking about. Jenkins is one of the most popular, maybe the most popular, continuous integration and continuous deployment tool. It's really an automation tool uh, that a lot of people use for their, like, quote-unquote, DevOps pipeline, right? So the pipeline that gets their code from developer check-in through testing and building, or rather building and testing, uh, and kind of spits it out into some kind of deploy process where it actually makes it onto servers. First, obviously, your testing or dev servers, then onto your staging servers where people kind of do some performance testing, whatever, um, and then finally into production. These kinds of DevOps pipelines, um, if you're going to be learning them, I recommend, if you're interested in getting into DevOps, I recommend learning Jenkins. It's just one of the biggest hammers. It's easily the most popular tool to do this at the moment. Uh, and has been for several years. It's one of those things. It's like if you want to get into DevOps, it's like forget the virtues or problems with these tools. Like you'll have to deal with them anyway. And all tools have virtues and problems. Learn the 500 pound gorillas. You know, knowing Java is never going to hurt you. Knowing AWS is never going to hurt you. Uh, knowing Jenkins is it's only going to help on your resume, right? These are really popular keywords. So if that's... If you're trying to break into the business, these are not bad ideas to learn. 
Lambdas, they're just anonymous functions. Uh, they're new in Java 8. This is a new book. It's highly reviewed. Uh, I'm actually even kind of interested in this one, so I'm definitely going to check it out. Um, but again, a good seems to be a good mix of theory and practice. And I love this series, the uh, How to Think Like a Computer Scientist series. This is a Green Tea Press series. I think this is one of those great... Um, if I had to recommend an introduction, I think this would be the one. If you want to get started with with Java, this is someone who actually knows how to educate, how to uh, how to teach. He's written a bunch of books. Many of them are free. Actually, they might all be free. Um, I remember reading Think Python and Think Stats, um, or it might have been Think Bayes, and they were really well written, really educational. Uh, if you're interested, tr you can try it out for free. I think no, maybe it's not free. Huh? Some of these used to be free. Oh yeah, read it online. There you go. So, um, if you want, and I'll put this in the uh, in the links, you can take a look at this. If you're just getting started with Java, again, I recommend picking up this entire library of books. You'd be crazy not to for 15 bucks. But um, if you're really just getting started, start with Think Java, uh, and support Green Tea Press if you can. Uh, they're great. They put they put out great stuff. Okay, as always, I'm much obliged if you use the uh, my partner link because it actually really makes a big difference. And that's pretty much it. Hope you guys pick it up. Um, oh, they also had this great, um, they had a sci-fi bundle that looked really cool. Let me check that out. Oh man, oh, oh some interesting stuff here. Okay, well, if you like reading, you might also want to check out this, uh, this sci-fi bundle. I'll put the link to that in the uh, description too. Anyway, thanks again guys, uh, much appreciated, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.